Hello everyone and welcome back. We're returning to a site in Procter in a region of Mars called Noarcus Terra. I've been spending some time in Noarcus Terra. It's one of the more interesting areas of Mars that I've studied to date. So we're looking at an anomaly that I didn't spot the first time I covered anomalies found at this site. This was a while ago. Let's have a look at the source material and then I'll show you the anomaly. Sometimes it's good to go back and look at your older work. Go through a photograph again. You find some things that you missed a previous time. So the photograph is called Field of Transverse Aeolian Ridges in Proctor Crater. This one was acquired on the 19th of October 2011 at a resolution of 50.5 centimeters per pixel. And I'm showing you images are cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. And there's a look at the low res black and white of these small dunes. And the anomaly I'll be showing you is located in this dune field, roughly in this area. It's too small to show up in the low res. So here it is, folks. This is at one to one scale. And the object we're looking at is located right there. And it's approximately 16 meters in length. I don't know, I missed this one the first time I went through this photograph. But here it is, folks. Check it out. Here we are, zoomed in. And I'm using a new filter in Gigapixel AI. It's called Recover. So it's recovered some detail that you don't make out in the very blurry version of this object when you zoom in on it using conventional tools. So there it is. What do you guys think? We've seen so many of these sort of boat shaped objects in Procter in the past. We'll have a look at those in a moment. But check out the symmetry and geometry of this thing. I don't know what to make of it. I compare it to a boat or a ship. If you look at the others that I've discovered in Procter in the past, in different photographs, you can check. These look like capsized boats. This one's sort of on its side at 90 degrees. Whereas, yeah. We're looking at potentially the keels, the underside of maybe boats. And now we're seeing a top view. Now, Arcasterra is an area that flooded in the distant past. Was there a lot of water in this region? And uh, was there a previous civilization on Mars? that made use of what we would do here on Earth, boats in water? Or is it just pure coincidence that the geology on Mars, the wind erosion and water erosion, made these shapes? I don't know, folks. I think we potentially looking at boats on Mars. Other Mars researchers have seen objects on Mars in rover photographs that look like capsized boats. So who knows? Let's have a chat. I'd love to hear what you think of my hypothesis. Take care everyone. I'll see you in the next one soon. I'll be going through the remainder of this photograph, I found out a lot of anomalies that I skipped over 
the last time I checked out this site. So stay tuned for that one. I hope to bring that one to you within the next day or two. Take care everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.